Round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. Oh, top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Nice straight punch. All right, so the former interim lightweight champ, Dustin Poirier, in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent out. Nearly put him out, and you can't take many of them. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155, I can't believe he used to fight at featherweight. He looks like he could never have made that weight. He's found his home at lightweight, and you see the damage he can inflict with one strike. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Punch land. Ooh. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Now connects with a right. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Nice big body kick land. Oh, straight right. One minute now to go in round one. Oh, big head kick there. Nice. Lock that kick to the body. Trying to go to the what a round. Well, I'm not sure. All right, let's get to round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice counter shot there. Oh, head kick. Oh! Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch him the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to stay in this fight. Whoa. A huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and count. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets.
The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, he does a great job of that. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. Right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a look like that, you are on wobbly leg. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Landed that left hook. Oh, and that's the end of round number two. Hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, we won. Oh! Oh, he might be out. There's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Aurier gets lit up by that straight punch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty. Aurier's for going this for the sub here. He's gonna tag Armbar here. Oh, nice job using his hand. He's out. Just over two minutes to go in our third and final round. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. He's hurt, He's hurt bad. Oh, and that one stepped ahead back. The referee has seen enough. Merciful. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. All right, now we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 49 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dustin the Diamond Ball. So the